Well, the whole region is getting ready for the eclipse. Oh, winter is live at the planetarium at Buffalo State University, explaining where many are planning to watch it and how you can still buy tickets. Hi, Hope. Good morning, Ali and Sky. Yeah, we are less than a week away from the total solar eclipse. And if you don't have your plans on how you plan on watching the eclipse, it may be time to do so. We're here with Patrick Kaler. He is with Visit Buffalo Niagara. Patrick, can you tell us a little bit? Why do you encourage people out there to make their plans for next Monday? Well, I think because there's so many things to choose from. And so uh, to make those plans early, plan your uh, strategy of how you're going to get there and be patient and kind afterwards uh, as we uh, get everybody home safely after the uh, eclipse. Yeah, and this week is spring break for a lot of students out there. And if you're looking for something to do to learn a little bit more about the eclipse, you can go to the Birchfield Penny Art Center. We're here with Nancy Weekly. Nancy, can you tell us a little bit about the exhibit happening there? Well, it's an interesting blend, I think, of the paintings and drawings of Charles Birchfield, the sun, moon, stars, constellations, including one total solar eclipse in the painting called Sun and Rocks from the Buffalo AKG Museum, as well as the amazing solar astrophotography of Alan Friedman, who has a telescope that he uses in his own backyard in Buffalo. So he has made these incredible photographs um, and he kind of manipulates the color with different filters of the sun and the sun rotates and we have a triptych for example that shows sunspots moving across the surface of the sun. So he gave a talk and the exhibition is up through uh, June 30th so we opened well before <laughs> The, the great event of the total solar eclipse and it will be there for people to see afterwards to kind of see how artists have uh, depicted the skies. Yeah, Nancy, thank you so much for meeting with us this morning and for you at home. If you would like to learn more information about that exhibit, we do have already more information on our website about that exhibit on our website, WIVB.com. But for now, live in Buffalo, Hope Winter, News 4.